Over the past year, Lisbon has opened six new businesses in or around downtown, including one grand opening tonight at the new SIP Tap Room. With what's happening in Lisbon, here's First News reporter Jacob Thompson. The SIP Tap Room, located on North Beaver Street, opened its stores Wednesday night. It's a southern style restaurant with the owners being from Mississippi. Really for me, it's more of like the Cajun influence and for him, it's just like soul food, really. So like we kind of wanted to bring a little bit of a mixture of both of those. We really miss that food. They also put a focus on cocktails and how they're made, hoping to hold mixology classes in the future. So whenever they get a drink, they're not like, oh my gosh, like this is small and it's this, but it's because it's balanced exactly right. It's supposed to, it has the flavors that it's supposed to have for a reason. The SIP tap room is just one example Mayor Pete Wilson hopes will attract people to Lisbon. You have to give visitors a reason to come. We want to make Lisbon a place you want to visit, a place you want to be. In the last 12 months, Lisbon has also added Nourish Coffee and Kitchen, Diamond Meats and Eats, Cantina 70 Bar and Grill, Peculiar Corner, and the Columbiana County School Employees Credit Union. Mayor Wilson says one of the many reasons he thinks businesses are moving to Lisbon is cheaper rent. And if you're like wanting to start a new business and you are concerned about your expenditures, what have you, this is a good place to come. Right now, the village has about 20 vacant buildings, many businesses that closed because of the pandemic. But Mayor Wilson says there are talks about more small businesses coming to the village. You need niche businesses. We're not, Lisbon, retail businesses here are not going to compete with, with, the, with the Home Depots or the Walmarts, what have you. We have to identify a market where there's a need and then try to fill it. In Lisbon, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.